It's time for everybody's favourite game show. Guess the movie by the awful review that I found on Letterboxd. That's not my favourite game show. Everybody but you. My favourite game show is um, it's a Burjo's catchphrase. Oh, that's a good show. I agree. You're a Supermarket Sweep fan? Yep. All right. Name a, a game show and I'll tell you I'm a, I'm a super fan of it. Uh, Sale of the Century, Tony Barber edition. I'm a super fan of it. All right. Yeah. I'm really glad. Anyways, this time we're doing Guess the Movie... I can't remember what these are fucking called. I haven't done these in so long. Hang on. Guess the Joker movie from the Savage Review. Here are the rules, Mason. Oh, here we go. Which you are going to follow. Rules in yes. quotation marks. Rules. Mean sarcastic quotation marks. These are the rules you'll have to follow and the people who are competing against you. Do you have to follow them? I got my own set of rules. Yeah, I figured. Yeah, you dog. Dog rules. <laughs> low dog rules. You can just limbo under the bar because you're such a low dog. Thank you. It has to be a live action Joker movie. Okay. And it has to be theatrically released. Okay. So this will include the movie Joker. Mm, maybe. Potentially the movie Joker 2, Folia Do. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's out. Folia Do Do, more like. <laughs> <laughs> and others. That's right. Well, are you including. Are, you, are we saying movies that have Joker in them? Yes. Okay. So Batman 1989 could count. Could. All right. All right, leave a like, because here we go. We'll start with this one. Are we including TV shows? No. All right. Just okay. movies. Okay, so not the opening sequence of Birds of Prey. No, for it's not. It's just the movies. The TV series Birds of Prey. It's just movies. All right. This one's from... Wait, Mark Hamill animated Batman? Live action. Interesting. <laughs> live action, theatrically released. I found his weakness, folks. I'm going <laughs> to get him. I'm going to twist the knife on him. This one's from uh, Luchik81, who says, Zero out of ten. Yeah, it's unwatchable. They, without any hesitation... Call a ladder, a normal ladder, nothing special with it, bat ladder. It's okay for Batmobile or something like that, but for other things, unnecessary. Okay. What's that? Is this the 1966 Batman movie? It certainly is. Did that get a theatrical release? Oh, yeah, it did. Okay. Yeah. I guess it must have. No, it did. Well, I've only ever seen it on TV, I suppose. Well, yeah, because you weren't alive then. I wasn't alive then. Because you'd already died because you're so old. I agree. <laughs> I was brought back through black magic <laughs> to have to constantly do this again. I think I'm in hell, actually. <laughs> yeah, man. Well done. You're one from one. Thank you. Let's ramp it up a bit. This one is rewatched by Clementine, who says, No movie should have this many songs. Oh, my goodness. Maybe it's a movie I haven't seen. But mm. maybe it's Joker, too. Let mm. me think. Shouldn't have this many songs. Did have a lot of songs in it. That's true. That's also rewatched. They've seen Joker 2 twice already. Could have. Pretty impressive. That would be very impressive. Mm. A Joker movie. Imagine a, a Joker 2 songs marathon. Songs in it. So not necessarily a musical. It's nope. just a movie with songs Nobody in it. Nobody said musical. And the Joker's in it. Mm -hmm. Is it Batman 89? No, it's Suicide Squad. Oh, yeah. It's got awful needle drops all the time. It doesn't stop. Because it was trying to be Guardians of the Galaxy, probably. And it was. Good. Yeah, the same movie to me. Yeah, I agree. That and Borderlands. Mm. What about this one? It's from Taron Fito. It's good stuff. Half oh, because yeah, he likes feet. He likes feet, yeah. He likes feet and trying to murder the people he's in movies with. <laughs> That's right. Half a star. They say, imagine being down bad over Jared Leto. Oh. Well, and and we're not gonna we're not going to cover... The same movie twice, correct? We're not allowed to. Okay. Imagine being down bad. Mm. This would be a number of movies, I think. Oh, yeah. yeah. Might not even be a movie with Joker in it. Wow, that's yeah. a good point, actually. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Some people just get it wrong, you know? Yeah, that's not true. Not me. But yeah, a lot of people, these people, we've learned are stupid in a lot of ways. Do you want a little bit of a hint? Here's a second review. It's from Film Dumpling who says, Third act made me want to go out the same way you and McGregor did. Oh, well, that could be the movie Birds of Prey. Mm. Unless they're thinking about train spotting and the answer's <laughs> in the toilet. <laughs> You're going to go with that? Train spotting? Yes. Okay. No, it was Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. Didn't I say that? No, no, you said it was train spotting. I said, Are you going to go with that? And you said, Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, fair. That's all right. <laughs> what about this one? This is from Ibra Graves who says, Why did bats kill all those men? That's just weird. I mean, there's a lot of Batman Doesn't narrow movies. It down. <laughs> Doesn't narrow it down even a little bit. Nope. Ah, uh, a lot of men. A lot of men. And he was loving it. He loved it. And the Joker's in it. Joker's in it. I think it's Batman 89. It is. All right, then. Congratulations. He's got a glee in his eye when he kills all oh, those men. Oh, he loves killing. You know? It's his favourite hobby. Do you think Alfred was alarmed when he was like, Alfred, put some machine guns in this car. Nah. Put some bombs in the wheels. 
don't worry, I'll be protected when I murder all the men because <laughs> there will shields will come up on my car when I drop the bombs on the men. <laughs> and Alfred's like, oh. Very good, sir. Very good, sir. Very but good. But in his head, not very good Not at all. very good, very sir. Very bad, actually, sir. Do you reckon he went, not very good, yes, sir? Yes, that's right. Or mm. very good, sir, not. Because <laughs> it was the 80s and 90s. Very true. Okay, what about this one? Uh-huh, uh-huh, Half uh-huh. a star. Go on. Came straight from a butt. It's a lot of movies that could have come straight from a butt. Yeah. When we reviewed the movie Joker uh, 2 for Lea Du, I did think, you know, was it was it one of the defining films of our generation or was it poop from a butt? <laughs> Say it again, sorry, one more time. Came straight from a butt. Came straight from a butt. Straight out of there. Shot out. I think that might be Joker 2, honestly. Wow, no, actually, it's uh, Batman v Superman. That is straight from a butt. <laughs> is the Joker even in that? No. Why'd you put it in? I there? don't know. <laughs> Why'd you put that in? Sorry. I'm like... <laughs> so this one's real. No, you got to keep this in. This is real, man. This is real. He's not I, even in I that. Well, I just found that review because I went, oh, I've forgotten Batman v Superman. We've got to put that in because it's real, James. <laughs> and people like it when it's real. It's like when it's like when there's, like, there's a cooking video on YouTube and the producer pops in and they're like, it's a crazy producer. He's always getting in there. Yeah, you told him to get You're in talking there. about ready, steady, cook? Yeah, probably. I don't know. <laughs> But anyway, that's cool, man. But you didn't get that one. No, because it's from a butt's fine. <laughs> you have to keep it in, though. Okay, fine. Are you still jet lagged? You were overseas like three months ago. <laughs> what about this one? It's from Matt Stroll, who says, half a star. You've got to be kidding me. This is what this is? I know it's being embraced as a subcultural watershed and so obviously doing something for someone. But it's poop from a bus. And I can respect that. (laughs) Brackets, to be clear, I am on the same side in the culture war. Oh, yeah, okay. They're pretty good. But wow, did I hate this. Brutally unfunny and wall-to-wall annoying. Just a miserable experience. Wow, okay. Brutally unfunny. <laughs> yeah. That would imply it's meant to be funny. I guess so. Is. I mean, the joke, he's always doing a joke. He is always doing a joke, isn't he? Yeah. Is this Joker 1? First Joker? Oh, first Joker. Yeah. Brutally unfunny. It wasn't very funny, was it? No. Even though at the end, the Joker's like, you wouldn't even know what I'm laughing about. That's right. Because I turned into the Joker. I'm, I'm laughing about reruns of Seinfeld. Uh, you going to go with that? Sure, why not? It's actually the People's Joker. You familiar with this? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I haven't seen it, but uh, it's come highly recommended. It's a parody or something. I don't know. Okay, sure. We're including People's Jokers in this. Well, it was released. That a cultural, cultural watershed. Cinematic. It, it was, was released live cinematically. Action. It was live action. All yeah. right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, not with the express written permission of Warner Brothers uh, Discovery. No. And David Zaslav, the mm. most normal man that exists. We right. like him. We like him. We like his decisions. That's right. What about this one? It's from Hugh Janus123. Excuse me? This is what Hugh Janus is saying. That's your dad. <laughs> yeah, he watched this movie. Okay, great. See if you can guess what my dad was talking about. Okay. Half a star. I'm not normally one for hero worship, but the Joker in this movie is a personal inspiration of mine. That's got to be first Joker, right? Well, let, let me just stop you there okay. before you can lock that in. All right. And this is also from C. Cabbages, who says, half a star, he kicked a dog. I don't remember the Joker kicking a dog, but maybe it wasn't the Joker who kicked a dog. Who kicked a dog <laughs> in a DC movie? <laughs> Who's kicking dogs, basically? Who's kicking dogs? Yeah. Perhaps it's because my mind is as twisted as the Joker's. Yeah. I don't even recall anybody kicking a dog. And if I saw someone kicking a dog in a movie, I'd be like, that's fine to me. That's fine. That's right. That's okay to it's you. It's okay to me, and I encourage others to emulate that. I don't like it. The viewers of this video. Yeah, okay. Uh, who kicks a dog? Maybe it wasn't the Joker who kicks a dog. I mean, I'd see Batman kicking a dog. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Maybe that's your answer. Is it League of Super Pets? Is the Joker in that? Yeah, I don't know if he is. I have seen it. Uh, it's not League of Super Pets. It's okay. The Dark Knight. Remember when... I don't remember Batman kicking a dog where there's a moment where Batman fights a bunch of dogs. I would have kicked one of those dogs. Yeah. Me, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. think he kicks one of them off the building or oh, something. Yeah. <laughs> Keaton's Batman would have that thing that comes out of his palm that hits the dog in the nuts. Absolutely. Mm. And then he'd kick the dog. And he'd kick the dog, yeah. yeah. Then he'd machine gun the dog. Mm-hmm. Then he'd drop a bomb on the dog. Absolutely, he would. Yeah. Then he'd say, I wish that was a man <laughs> that I killed with a bomb <laughs> and a gun and a kick to the nuts. <laughs> This is half a star from Jonathan Pack who says, Why does Hollywood insist on Batman villains being insane in the same exact way when most of them are differently insane? Also, Penguin is famously the one Batman villain who isn't insane and yet Danny DeVito went insane. That's true, he did. Mm. Is Joker in Batman Returns? 
Is that what you want to lock in? No, I don't want to lock anything in. Okay. Ah. You're not going to commit to anything at all? No, I'll never commit you to anything. You can just say pass. I'll never say pass. I'll always commit to one thing. You get a point if you pass, though. Did you know that? Do I? Yeah. Just this once, you'll get a point. No, my principles are more important <laughs> in this fake game show we've made up with imaginary rules. So I'm going to say Batman 89 again. <laughs> it's Batman Forever. Because if you recall, a young Joker appears in flashbacks depicted in Batman Forever, portrayed by David U. Hodge. I do remember that, yes. Yeah. Yes. You could have passed and got a point. I, not important. And Points are not important. That has expired. You cannot use that anymore. Wow. Yeah. All right, let's go with this one. It's half a star from Veronica Avexo. Love that. At first, I was pissed off at all the singing, but then I realized it was supposed to be a musical, and I got even more mad. This sure was awful. I started listening to the Talk 2 podcast mid-movie. God, then, this is so current. <laughs> <laughs> then the dumbass Regal Theatre shut off the sound at the end of the movie and everyone started listening to the Talk 2 podcast with me. Wow. That was better than the entire movie. Everyone in that theatre shared that beautiful moment with me and that was truly what makes life worth living. That story's beautiful and made up, and it's Joker 2, I think. It's actually the original Joker. They've put it under the wrong movie. Oh, no. But it's not up to me. Wow. I don't make the rules. You do make the this rules. This is just what happened. That is true. You could have happened. passed and got a point, but you didn't. That's not true either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but do you ever think that you we've, we've been working at this for, for years and years and years, and we could have just said to spit on that thing, and we would have we would be rich and famous now? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think we could say it now? I think we'll do it now. <laughs> yeah. This is from Lo Joyo, who says, This movie is a love child of a Batman fan who has never seen or read anything to do with Batman and an emo goth who enjoy darkness so much. It leaves the screen pitch black for half its runtime. I have never seen a movie I hated more. It is disrespectful and patronizing to the audience. Anyone with any amount of self-respect should avoid this turd of a film. Wow. Wow, turd of a film, eh? Turd of a film. Squeaking its way out into cinemas. That's right. Mm. Splurting out. <laughs> I think that one's Batman 89. No, this. Why do you keep saying that? We know. already did it. Would we? Go again. All right. It's a big turd. Yeah. Splurting out. It's a, spl it's a splurt and turd. It's a splurt and turd of okay, a movie. Okay, all right. This isn't Joker 3, <laughs> splurting a turd, is it? <laughs> I wish. Say it again. What's the? How's it going? The whole thing. The whole thing again. This yes. movie's a love child of a Batman fan who has never seen or read anything to do with Batman and an emo goth who enjoy darkness so much it leaves the screen pitch black for half its runtime. Oh, it's, it's the Batman. It's the Batman. There Batman. we go. It's the Barry Keoghan. Is he? Yeah. Is he in the proper? He is. The movie at proper? the end. He talks to the oh, to the great. Riddler. But you there is that. See him? There sort of. There is yeah. that deleted scene with him. Okay, which that's pretty good. All right. Yeah, that, that one's pretty emo. I got to tell you. All right, we got I mean, it's no joke. The three splurting a turd. <laughs> Here's the poster. And his big white briefs? Yes. Blurred a turd into him? Yep. Great. <laughs> no, it's implied. <laughs> okay. And was it all in his dreams? Or better, did he... better check those underpants and find I out. I would say he almost certainly splurted a turd. <laughs> <laughs> Which is French, by the way. It's very, very, very sophisticated. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one's from McMeat, who says half a star. The Flash has a scene where he moves so fast he can slow time, but at the climax of the movie he gets shot. Is that the movie The Flash? <laughs> you want to go with that? No. I mean, he probably, the Joker probably is in that movie. Oh, is it Justice? It's one of the Justice, is it Justice, Zack Snyder's Justice League? Is he in that? That's right, it is Zack Snyder's Justice League. Wow. How'd you do that? I thought we thought of it with my brain. God, you're very I remembered my favourite movie. My second favourite movie. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, jo yeah, yeah. After Joker 3, it's splitting it too. Yeah. How's about this one? From Samuel Hillborn. Got a couple left, Mason. Get I'm, excited. I'm very excited. Says, sigh, originality was brutally beaten and left to bleed in the street. Damn. That's all, folks. Oh. A little Warner Brothers reference for you. Now, is that Joker to Philia do? Is that what you want to go with? Well, he says that's all folks in it. That's true, he does. Do you think Todd Phillips was really excited when he realized Warner Brothers owns the Joker and the Looney Tune, God. so he didn't have to pay for he got that's so all folks? so excited yeah. out of his own pocket. Yeah. Yeah. Going with that? Yeah. All right. It was actually Space Jam 2, A New Legacy. Oh, because there's the Jack Nicholson joke in the like, back. It's just like, I'm partying yeah. and I'm watching basketball. Yeah. The movie sucks. Nah, it's good. Oh, yeah. Think, think about it. Because the Iron Giant for It's got content. Something. It's, it's maybe the second best movie of all time after Ready Player One. <laughs> Two so, good movies. Two good movies. You're absolutely right. With content in them. All right. The most amount of content is, <laughs> equals the best thing. Agreed. All right, here we go. We're wrapping it up with this one and a half star review from George Kamari who says, no, I'm serious when I say it's going to make you mad. 
actual text Alex Coleman sent me before I watched this movie. He was right. It made me irrationally angry. I love when people just name their friends. Their friend Alex <laughs> Coleman. Yeah, apparently. This guy, this guy sounds like an interesting dude. I agree. It made him angry. Yeah. I'm going to go out on a limb. Here we go. And say Lego Batman. That's not a live action movie. You're going to lock that in? Yes. Okay. It's actually Joker 2 Folly Do. That would have been my second choice. Yeah, yeah, but it wasn't. No, it wasn't. You also it? could have passed and got a point. I don't think that rule applies anymore. Tell him up, Matt. How did he go? Yeah. Wow, look at that score. Pretty incredible. You could have got some bonus points for passing, but you didn't. Can I trade those points in for cash later? Absolutely, you can. What? Just take them to your bank, to your local bank. Oh, they'll trade them in. Yeah, they'll they gotta, trade them in they for gotta, you. They got a YouTube Just make them real watch, currency exchange. Yeah, make them watch this video. And do you think everybody out there can do that? No, no, because you're in the video. I think anybody could do it. Okay, yeah. Give it a whirl out there, yeah. folks. Bring the video in on your phone. <laughs> Get them to watch it. Yeah, that's right. Mm. Make sure your, your phone background says, this is a robbery. <laughs> See how that goes. <laughs> All right, listen up. Listen up. Uh, if people like this, that's great. Yeah. We're just happy to bring joy to the world, like the Joker. That's right. Uh, but you can actually see any of the videos that we make early at BigSandwich.co. Where not only do we do early videos, including Caravan of Garbage, but we do bonus movie commentaries. We do video game Let's Plays. We do bonus podcasts. We also have a podcast called The Weekly Planet where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. That comes out every Monday. It's got its own YouTube channel, Spotify, Apple, etc. That's right. We recently covered Joker 2. Fully yeah. adieu. And you know what? Remember all those movies featuring the Joker mm -hmm. and savor them because after Joker 2, there will not be any more movies featuring the Joker. That's right. I, I mean, how do, you, how do you improve on perfection? That's so true, isn't it? I mean, it? that turd idea that you had. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, after the third one. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right, thanks, everyone. Grab that gem, you guys. We'll see you next week. Goodbye. Goodbye.